All right, guys, inside this video, I want to show you a super underutilized feature inside of ChatGPT, which is the tasks feature. Now, what you can do is you can basically get to this from two different places. Number one, you can go to chatgpt.com slash tasks. And inside of this tasks window, you're going to see all of these scheduled tasks that live inside of your account. Now, the reason that we're looking at setting up scheduling tasks or scheduled tasks is because you can essentially turn ChatGPT into a personal AI assistant that will do things on a recurring schedule for you, which is amazing. It's such a great way to leverage the power of what ChatGPT can actually do. The other way to get to it is if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see your icon. You're gonna click that and you will click on settings. Now inside of settings, you will see schedules on the left-hand side. From here, when you click on manage, you're gonna be taken to the exact same page. So the way that we actually trigger ChatGPT schedules or scheduled tasks is by asking ChatGPT to take certain actions in the future. So what we can do is we can do this a number of different ways. We can pop open a new chat and we can just say, hey, can you please get me the latest AI news from the past, let's say 48 hours and deliver that news to me every single morning at 9 a.m. So now what's gonna happen is ChatGPT is going to run, it's going to understand what you're looking for, which is the latest AI news from the past 48 hours, and it's gonna understand that we're actually asking for it to deliver that to us every morning at 9 a.m. Now, this is great because now not only do we have to, or now we no longer have to actually ask ChatGPT manually to get us that information. We can just set this up once. And every morning at 9 a.m., what we're gonna get is an email that says we have the task completed and there's a new message for us to review, which will be the results. And then we're also gonna be able to have a conversation with that ChatGPT response. So we're gonna basically have two sides of it there. Now, as this happens, you're gonna see, right? Send daily AI news brief at uh, daily at 9 a.m. Got it, I'll send you a quick AI news brief every morning at 9 a.m. Here's your roundup from the last 48 hours. So it set the scheduled task for us, which if we click on edit, we can actually now change the details of this scheduled task. And so we can actually change the frequency, we can change the time, and we can change the instructions. So you're seeing here, search the latest AI news from the past 24 to 48 hours. Send me a concise morning brief with the with with uh, five to eight top items. So what's actually probably better for us to do here is either set this up on a custom where we set the specific days and times, but I'm actually gonna go back to daily at 9 a.m. and I'm only gonna make this 24 hours because it's not gonna make sense for us to get 48 hours if we want this task repeated every single day. So we're gonna save that. But what's nice is that it's also actually answered the question for us right now because I've asked the question. So it knows that tomorrow at 9 a.m. it's gonna start running this task, but right now it should also answer the question for us. Got it, I'll send you a quick AI news brief every morning at 9 a.m. Here's your roundup, Google launched Pixel 10. Uh, report open AIs and talks for a $6 billion employee share that could value the company at $500 billion. Crazy, so every morning we're gonna get this news and you can make it whatever you want. Now, let's take this a little further. Let's say what we wanna do is to have this actually review our calendar and give us a synopsis of what's coming up for the day and what we should do, maybe some takeaways of how we can maximize our productivity. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically pair two incredibly powerful ChatGPT features. The first one is the tasks, which we're looking at now. And the second one, again, if we click on our name and we click on settings, we're gonna look at connectors. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your Google Calendar. You can also connect your Gmail if you want in this test account, I'm only connecting my calendar. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on, it'll look like this, Gmail, connect, right? This is what your, your Google Calendar feature will look like if you haven't already connected it. So calendar, connect, or in my case, manage. Now you're gonna have this option to check and I would recommend always check this on so it automatically will reference your calendar, but it'll only do so when you specifically ask. So now what happens, and one of the things I wanna make sure that is super important that you're aware of, is if your ChatGPT account is, was, is and was created using your Google account, then the Google Calendar that you connect and that account that you created your login with need to be the same account. So basically what we can then do is we can say, okay, let's start a new chat. Please give me, or let's say every morning at 8.15 a.m., give me a briefing on the day ahead, all my calendar events, and a few 
let's actually do one more thing. Three key ways that I can stay incredibly productive and one big motivational, let's say quote, that will fuel me for the day. Now, remember what's gonna happen. It's gonna run this and it's gonna give us the output of everything happening today. And then it's also going to schedule this task for us so that every day starting tomorrow at 8.15 a.m., it's going to give us a full brief by checking our calendar events, three key ways that I can stay incredibly productive and one big motivational quote for the day. So it's basically just gonna give me this little synopsis of everything that's coming up for the day. And it's gonna do so by basically referencing everything inside of your Google Calendar, which is amazing. And in our case, if you're somebody who is basically on top of the calendar, then that's good. It's gonna it's gonna essentially know exactly how to how to give you the right structure and motivation to really help plan your day around that. Now, the reason why this actually isn't working for me is because in the calendar, I should it is working. What I should say is that it's not giving me back the full synopsis is because, first of all, I didn't actually ask for it explicitly. Second of all is all of the events inside of this test calendar that I ran were from yesterday. They, they were actually already passed from this morning. So what we'll see here is that I'll actually just ask for it. Can you please also provide me, oh, let's say this, great. Thanks for scheduling this. Can you also please provide me with all this information right now as well, so I can see what it will look like. Perfect, so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna do essentially the exact same thing. It's gonna run it as a task right now so that we can see what that actual output is going to look like. So this will basically take care of all of that for us. Perfect, so it, waited, it went through and thought for 27 seconds and now here's our briefing for Wednesday, August 20th, 2025. Again, on this calendar that I'm using as a test, it's got our dog walk, which is the only actual event that is left that hasn't been completed yet. So day summary, light day. Again, as I mentioned, all of the other calendar events that were on this test calendar happened previous to right now, which is 4 p.m. or 2 p.m., not 4 p.m. So again, light day, you've got a wide open runway until the afternoon, then a built-in reset with the dog walk at four, perfect for two focused work blocks and a clean wrap. So three ways to stay consistent, fuel, and here's your fuel quote at the end. Now, what's nice about this, is tomorrow when we do it at 8.15, and if your day starts that early, I would recommend doing this task earlier. It's going to basically look at everything from where you are right now until the end of your day. And if you want to look at your day as a whole, instead of just what's happening now onwards, then you would just adjust that in the way that you're prompting. But now you'll see we have two scheduled tasks. So again, if we want to take a look at the different tasks that we have, we're going to look at our settings and our schedules manage we're gonna see we now have a daily AI news brief coming at 9 a.m. and our morning briefing at 8.15. So now we have our schedules and our tasks connected to our Google Calendar, and this is two ways you can turn ChatGPT into a personal AI assistant.